So today is a pretty exciting day because I'm going to talk about a stone that I have to admit as a gemologist is actually one of my favorite gems and that is tanzanite. The funny thing about tanzanite is that it has so many interesting qualities and traits but it still hasn't really gained that popularity that a lot of other gemstones have such as sapphires or morganite or emerald etc. So one of the things that makes tanzanite so incredibly unique is its very strong pleochroism and pleochroism is a trait that a lot of gemstones have but in the case of tanzanite it's very very strong because tanzanite is so pleochroic it's splitting light in two that enters into the gem which makes it look like two very different colors depending on the direction that you look at it. So with most tanzanites when you look at them face up they can look both a violet blue and more of a reddish purple color. Looking at the stone and seeing these two very different colors can give tanzanite a very magical kind of unicorn quality to them. And you tend to see this effect with the stone that is very saturated. So you do want to see those very strong blue and purple colors at the same time. Keep in mind that tanzanite can be cut to either minimize or maximize the pleochroism. For me personally, I love to see those two different colors face up because again, that's what's giving the stone such a unique effect, especially in this particular color range. But of course, it's all up to your personal preference. The second thing that I absolutely love about this gemstone that I feel like really sets it apart is that unlike most gems in the trade it really doesn't look like any other gem as you can see from watching some of our other videos you have you know topaz and aquamarine that look similar emeralds and different types of garnets rubellite ruby the list goes on and on however these violet blue stones are really truly unique the only gem that comes even close to looking like tanzanite is when you find a tanzanite stone in a super saturated blue to slightly violetish blue color and it's been cut with zero pleochroism. These stones look very similar to very high quality blue sapphires and they do tend to be the most valued and most expensive tanzanite. You can also find tanzanite in a lighter tone which is less saturated and definitely looks more like a lavender color and of course this is very unique as well. There are not very many lavender colored stones on the market. The lighter tones and lavender colors can also be cut with or without pleochroism and they do tend to be used in more mass market jewelry just like any other gemstones. They're considered a little bit less quality and less expensive when they're in those less saturated and lighter colors. The third thing that I absolutely love about tanzanite, it is definitely considered one of the rarest gemstones in the world today. It's also very new on the market. It was only discovered in 1967 and the story goes that it was discovered by a Maasai tribesmen and it was found near the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania. To this day this very small about 20 square mile area is still the only single source for this gemstone which again is very unique. Most gems have been found in several different deposits on different continents all over the world. It's a combination of this single source as well as this very small area in northern Tanzania where this gemstone is found that makes it so incredibly rare and experts agree that unless another source is found in the future future, this gemstone could definitely be mined to extinction and then of course its rarity will skyrocket even higher. So aside from its extreme beauty and uniqueness, I think that this gemstone of course has amazing potential as a potential investment if you are looking to acquire gemstones that you think might be highly sought after in the future. Another interesting tidbit is that Tiffany & Co was one of the first companies to really take tanzanite on as an interesting gemstone in their collection. Of course in the late 60s when this gem was found, sapphires were still all the rage as far as being you know, a very acquirable gemstone for people in that era and they really saw it as a great alternative to blue sapphire. They're even credited with giving the name tanzanite to this stone which of course comes from Tanzania where it's found. Another interesting thing to know about tanzanite is that it does require heat treatment in order to get its very unique color. When the gemstones were first discovered, it's thought that they were naturally heated by the sun, which is why the tribesmen originally actually thought that tanzanite was sapphire. In its natural state, tanzanite is actually a transparent brown color, and of course when you find it in the market now, it's definitely heat treated to achieve that gorgeous violetish blue color. Tanzanite is actually a variety of the mineral zoocyte and before tanzanite was discovered it had only been found in a very kind of opaque greenish color which is actually still used a lot on the market for carvings and other kind of decorative objects. 
The other thing you'll want to know is that tanzanite is on the softer side. It's about a six to six and a half on the Mohs hardness scale, which is even softer than emerald, for example, which a lot of people think is too soft to use in an everyday ring, such an engagement ring. I think emerald is definitely hard enough, but with tanzanite, I might be a little bit cautious about using in an engagement ring that you definitely want to wear every single day. You're definitely gonna to wanna to use caution when cleaning and storing tanzanite jewelry, so definitely refer to our video about soft gems, including pearl jewelry and how to clean and care for them. Overall, I think tanzanite is a bit of a hidden gem in the industry, and I think it's so beautiful and so unique. It could definitely be a conversation starter and an amazing choice if you're a collector or just a jewelry lover that wants a piece of gemological history in your collection. If you have any questions about tanzanite, feel free to put your questions in the comments below and visit us on our main page at winstongemsandjewelry.com.